Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and we have got Int LR Gohan's EZA live on Global. Um, this video is going to be how to defeat his event. So, of course, we are going to take on level 10, which is the hardest level you have to beat to get his EZA done. You definitely can go beyond that if you want to, to get um, Hercule statues for Zenny. Um, however, if you're going to grind EZAs for Hercule statues, I recommend you do easier ones. The LR ones aren't the ones... I mean, it's not like you can't do it, but there's way faster ones you can do to grind Zenny, right? So, I would recommend you get his metal stop at 10 and then grind other EZAs for Zenny if you want to, but that's totally up to you. So, if we look at the battle info, basically the way these things work with the LRs is... Um, there's going to be a certain category that's going to be effective, and there might be certain typings that are restricted, and then um, LRs are important to this as well. So basically for this one, you'll see at the bottom where it says effective when defending. That's the main category you want to use. Now, you basically need to stick to that category completely. If you put a non-Android Cell Saga, it really doesn't matter how good defensively your unit is, they are going to get crushed in here if they aren't that category. The only way you're going to be able to run outside the category, you're going to want to run something that dodges a lot or that has huge damage reduction, right? But as long as you have a decent roster, you should have enough Android Cell Saga category um, characters to put in there, unless you're like a brand new player. And LR ECAs like this, this isn't really content meant for brand new players. So if you can't beat it, it might just be because you don't have the roster yet, right? Um, any typing can be used here. But Gohan is int, so I would avoid tech units. Even though tech units, uh, they're not affected by damage reduction. Unless you've got like a really good tech unit that, you know, is unaffected by type or something like that, then sure, go ahead and run it. But I, looking through my roster, I didn't see a suitable tech unit that I felt like was worth running. Um, and then legendary power gets more boost when attacking. So basically what you want to do here, I'll show you my team build. Um, obviously, you want to use LR Int Cell as your leader if you have them. If you don't have LR Int Cell, run the best leader you have that can get all of these units in that are on Android Cell Saga and bring a friend, and, uh, a friend Int LR Cell. Um, running physical units is ideal because Gohan is Int. Um, I would say this guy, if you have him, is the MVP. You want to run physical LR Cell. Now, he is a harder to obtain unit, so I... You know, many of you might not have him. He's not required by any means, but you want to run as many LR. So this, my squad here, this team that I have, I feel like is one of the more optimal team builds you can run just because it's a full LR Android Cell Saga team. But you, d this team definitely is not required to get it done. Um, just use the best um, Android Cell Saga units you have and try to get as many physical units as possible. And then outside of that, just avoid tech and pick the best units you can. Um, so LRs are going to do the best here. So I've got LR Trunks. I've got LR AGL Gohan. You could run Int Gohan in this spot if you wanted to. He's just not as good defensively. So that's why I put AGL Gohan in there. Um, the Int Gohan will be better defensively when we finish the EZA, but that's obviously what we're working on, right? Um, this Vegeta hasn't been like crazy impressive, but he's, he's an LR. He can do a little bit of damage. So none of these units are required, but I would say this cell is probably the MVP. This cell has done the most damage, and I would say the LR androids are actually really good just because they're providing support and they are physical typing, right? Once again, another harder to obtain unit, you may or may not have them. So we'll go ahead and hop in and see how easily we can take down level 10. Um, up to this point, um, I really have had no issues. So I would say this definitely isn't one of the harder LR EZAs. Um, it, it really hasn't been that bad. I thought Bardox was a little tricky at some point, but um, it, it, at no point during this whole thing have I felt like close to dying. So we'll see. We'll see how well our my physical androids will defend here. But when you watch me take damage, uh, it won't seem like crazy terrible. But keep in mind, if you don't have Android Cell Saga, like you just get blasted like 100k plus normals. So yeah, like 2 to 3k normals there, that's not too bad. Like we're fine, right? And we have type advantage. But yeah, if you're if you're not Android Cell Saga, it's it, and it's not that you can't do it. Like, so I don't, you know, somebody's probably going to comment and be like, oh, I use so-and-so and they're not an Android Cell Saga. Like, yeah, it's not impossible. Like, you could bring one or two units in here and just there's the off chance that you can maybe hide them and they just don't get hit. Or they can take maybe one normal attack and you're fine. But you just, like, if you did, like, a whole team of non-Android Cell Saga, like, it, you're going to struggle in here. It's going to be tough, right? So, um, 
because the other thing is is the they're not getting as much damage either right all right this rotation pops up a lot and this is like the god rotation when you've got physical lr cell and int lr cell like it's gg <laughs> like we might take them out this turn well vegeta on the end might not be able to finish off but let's see how much damage my cells do if i get lucky with like crits and additionals the cells might finish it um yeah vegeta's not even going to get a super so uh if the cells don't do it we're for sure going another turn but let's see what happens here Gohan is, you know, he does have a lot of health and only 3 mil. So what you find with this physical LR cell is with support, um, he can touch 5 million, which is pretty crazy because he's very, very old. So, like, I'm going to be very excited to see what his EZA has in store. Uh, yeah, we're for sure not taking him out this time. I was hoping to get an additional physical cell there. Didn't quite happen. That's okay, though. Oh, yeah, we've only got him, like, halfway down. We did, we did get uh, an additional here, though, which is good. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see I'm doing fine. I, it, now, granted, Gohan hasn't supered us yet. If, like, Vegeta takes a super or Cell takes a super, like, it might sting a little bit. But because we're Android Cell Saga, it, it severely reduces the damage. So, uh, oh, yeah, that was a 40k normal. So <laughs> that, I, I'm going to tell you this, the Prime Battle Vegeta for me, that's, like, more of a filler unit. I was just trying to find something I could use while keeping an LR in there just to try to do more damage. But... He's probably the first one I would take out if I decided to swap something else in. Um, I think I'm actually okay leading with Gohan here. Just because I... Well, no, let's lead with Cell. Because I see these physical orbs here. Yeah, or int orbs here. Let's just lead with Cell there. Uh, we can have the androids grab these. And then there'll be some AGLs dropping for Gohan. Alright, I'm pretty sure we'll take him off this turn. We'll see what happens. I kind of want him to super us just so you can see how much damage we take. But yeah, if Gohan's not going to super, then this is going to be a cakewalk, right? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, good hit there. All right. Androids will do a little bit of damage. I mean, 2.6 isn't the worst. I, you know, I think of these guys as a support unit, so I'm okay with 2.6 as a support unit. And when they transform in the Android, or not transform, but when they exchange into 16, like, he can put up some decent numbers for how old they are, right? All right, so there we go. There's uh, the Gohan uh, complete. Uh, you can see the team build is pretty good. It worked out just fine. Uh, sorry if there's a little glitch there. I forgot to put Do Not Disturb on. I got a phone call at the end. It cut me off, so there's going to be a little glitch there. But, yeah, if you guys have questions on how to beat it with your box, um, I have a Discord. I'm going to post it in the description. Um, I have a team building channel on my Discord. So if you don't have the same units as me and you're not sure what the best build to make to beat this, if you're struggling with it, um, feel free to hop into my Discord. We're a pretty fun group over there. Um, let me know how I can help you out, and we'll try to get you through this. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one.